What's up guys, AJ here, and I got another real life story for you. Yeah, this is basically a series, or just, I'm just kind of just going to start making videos about this. Not even actually a series, um, where I just talk about stuff that's happened in my uh, past life, you know, my before and now life. Um, no, just stuff that has happened in the past. It's weird, funny, strange, awesome, cool, uh, spectacular, or whatnot. But, uh, anywho, let's get started. Now, today I'm going to be talking about the time that I almost drowned. Now, uh, this was quite some time ago, so this might not be the best of stories. Um, but yeah, I've always, I've had a lot of near-death experiences. So, yeah. Now, uh, it was a long time ago, long, long, long time ago. I think I was like eight, and, uh, we were on vacation because my aunt moved to Florida. Now, you know, the ocean, you guys have been to the ocean. The ocean is a nice, nice place. However, you guys know that they have flags. They have a green flag, which means, you know, calm waters. Yellow flag, which means can can be rough and has an undercurrent. Uh, and red, which is pretty much you shouldn't swim. And double red, uh, you get in trouble if you swim and you'd probably die. Uh, a lot of surfers go out on double red. Just, you know, because the waves are pretty big, and, you know, they they do that. But anywho, so it was, it was, uh, it claimed to be green flag one day, um, and actually, as we were going out to the beach, my, my cousin, who I was going with, there was, there was my girl cousin, who was, I think, uh, 12 at the time or something, I was like 9 or 10, and she was like 12 or 13 or something, um, and my other cousin, who I think was like 18 or... No, he was like 25 or something, something crazy. He had a broken leg, and hey, how coincidental, my last video was a broken leg. All right, stay on topic, AJ. He had a broken leg, and his girlfriend was there as well. Now, uh, you know, we took, we went down to the beach. This was probably my, like, third time going. So I go out into the water, you know, I'm having fun, I'm swimming. And I, I used to wear goggles because, you know, the, the salt water kills your eyes. Like, it, it, was, it would burn and everything. So I, I was wearing goggles, and, um... You know, my goggles got knocked off, so I was looking for those under the water, and as I went down to get them, like, the undercurrent just, like, swept me out, and it kept pulling me out, now, 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 and this, this was, like, this was the craziest thing ever. You know, people talk about how you see your life flash before your eyes, and I don't know if it was coincidental or what, but I was, like, I was honestly panicking. I was freaking out. I was scared to death, and... It was just like, it was the most surreal and crazy moment in my life. I was out there and I was, you know, I was just looking for my goggles. I was getting hit by water. It was it was at least a good 10 to 15 foot deep where I was at. And I kept getting dragged down. I was, you know, waving my arms. I was doing everything in my power to get seen. And my cousin, you know, he was waving back because he, he thought that I was just joking out there. Um, but I'm out there. I'm struggling for air. You know, I'm everything. I'm so close to just... I, I thought I was going to drown. Like, honestly, as, as the YouTube description thing says, the title, I, I thought I was going to drown. I was freaking out. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever had any near-death experiences, but it was crazy. So, back to the story. You know, I was underwater. It was at least a good 10 to 15 foot deep. I was I was struggling. I was f waving my arms through the air. And then finally, you know, I could yell help without water getting splashed into my face and into my mouth. And... Here comes my cousin, who at the time, I think she was like 13 or 14, like I said, and my other cousin, who had a broken leg, realized that something was wrong. So, as he tried to get up, but he couldn't do anything, you know, he had a broken leg. He couldn't swim out there to save me or nothing like that. So, my cousin, who's 13 or 14, like I said, she she, she comes out there, and, and she's she's pretty tall to be a girl, alright? She was, pr I think she was like 5'8". Five, five, seven or five eight at the time to be 13 or 14 which is you know pretty tall in my opinion for a girl and uh you know she was swimming out there and i was i was still frantically panicking it was like it was almost like one of the lifeguard uh you see you seen the lifeguards in the movies where they just like are, <laughs> are like running out in slow motion that's how i felt like and the, the whole time you know i was panicking i was freaking out so she runs out there and she grabs me and like i said it's 10 to 15 foot and uh, she's a pretty sw strong swimmer, so she could, uh, you know, swim. But she said when uh, when she went down that she couldn't touch it for at least a good uh, 10 to 15 feet. So, you know, she, she's dragging me back along with the undercurrent. So, you know, we're fighting for at least a good five minutes. And by the way, when I was out there, I was out there for like a good 10 minutes, almost drowning. And, you know, we're, we're both tired. You guys have been in the water. You know how tired you get um, after swimming just for short periods of time. 
So we're in the water. We're pushing our way back. We're trying to get back in there. And finally we get to the point where I can touch. I, I feel like it's all over, you know. And, and I, I finally, it's just like the mo biggest sign of relief in my 10-year-old life. And, you know, I'm just like, hallelujah, thank you, and everything. And then, you know, meanwhile, the whole time while this event is happening, my my perfectly able uh, cousin's wife is just sitting there laughing on the beach. So, uh, you know, there's there was something wrong with that ex-girlfriend uh, now. Um, so, you know, there's something wrong with that. But it was it was just a crazy, a crazy event. I finally got up on shore, and I was, I was walking, and I was just, you know, I told everyone about it. It was just crazy. It was just, you know, one of those crazy moments in life that I guess happens. And, you know, I think, I, you know, I thank God for it and everything, whether you guys believe in uh, religions or whatnot. And, you know, that was that. But, uh, so I'm alive now. Uh, good. You know, I've never went back in the ocean. No, I'm kidding. Although the next time that I did go out in the ocean, uh, yeah, I didn't go too deep. Uh, but that was pretty much it for this story, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this. I'm going to be doing more. And, uh, that's... I think that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys later. If you guys wouldn't mind leaving a like on the video, that would be spectacularly uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious or something like that. Awesome. But uh, bye.